guys this is Danica and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before um, today I'm going to show you where you can get three gold bars the hard way the most frustrating way <laughs> I mean you know if you want to be a good person and um, you want to earn money and you don't want to do glitches then this is the video for you um, I earned money in this game just by do, doing treasure hunts and um, just just that really like because I you, you can always find a lot of gold bars when you do treasure hunting um, you can find random maps from random people that you encounter and I forgot where they are but anyway so <laughs> right off the bat you will fall but it's okay just as long as you control the fall you don't just remember that you need to not fall all the way and die and make sure you have full health because you're gonna do this over and over again and you're gonna die you're gonna fall over and over again and it's gonna be frustrating but I mean <laughs> <laughs> that happened to me multiple times before I cut this video into just nine minutes um, it took me over maybe it took me an hour and a half to get this done <laughs> so we're gonna go back to that location again and let's try it again Okay, so this is just Arthur going back to the location where to get the gold bar. But I'm just going to tell you how I found this location. So I was just riding around the map as usual. I always explore. And I just happened to stumble upon this train wreck. And I, you know, as a naturally curious, curious, <laughs> curious person, I went in and investigated it. And there is one train car that I cannot get into and it's because he's just standing vertically leaning on the side of the cliff so i tried to find a way to get in that train car just to see what's in there so this is the way that i found i don't think there's any other way but you can get in that train car and get the three gold bars in there through here as i said before you will fall but you have to control your fall so you don't die and you have to go through this narrow ledge and just remember to hug the wall <laughs> it's gonna let you slip it's okay it's okay because you need to fall here just be careful not to fall all the way again you have to control the fall um, there's this ledge right here you have to get up there and then again you have to go through the narrow ledge hugging the walls just to make sure that you're not gonna fall again I did this so many times I fell and died and just I was so frustrated but, but I didn't give up you know it's a it's a real life lesson you know it gets life gets frustrating but you you just going to keep going and not give up. Anyway, okay, so this one you really have to control your fall. You have to slide down like this. And then there's a ledge right there that you need to jump off to. Right there. And I fell. See, that's a train car that I'm talking about. There's no way to get in there. But it's okay to fall right here if you fall. Because there's always a way to get up right here on this rock. And then up right here. But you know, it's always better for you to be able to get on the other ledge successfully. Well, since I'm a clumsy person... Uh, there you go. 
So there you have it. This is it. You just have to jump. And <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's a loot box and then you can just loot it and then you're, you're gonna have your three gold bars. Is it worth the frustration and the hardships that you went through? No, it's not <laughs> because you can find gold bars somewhere else the easy way <laughs> but is it fun yeah sure if you're bored you you want to get frustrated randomly just do this <laughs> anyway there's a window in this if you can see if you saw earlier there's a window on this train car there's no there's no way you can get in there from outside there's just only one way and you have to go through all that shit but there you have it at, at least you can sell this 500 each in the fence and then you can buy clothes and you can cut arthur's hair and you can customize your weapons you can buy weapons and that's how that's just that's just how i earn money so this is like this is the other parts of the train that i discovered first and um I've already looted the items in there. I forgot the items that you can get there. But I don't think it's... I don't know. I forgot. But yeah. Anyway. That's it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a painful, painful journey. Just like my life. But... <laughs> you know, it's not really worth it, I guess. Maybe it's worth it for you to get those three gold bars. You know, I just really want to earn money. You don't have like enough money and you don't have the treasure maps yet then go for this one but anyway um update on my previous video about the panoramic map and the view on top of mount chan and the third ufo so i received a lot of comments uh, from different people and thank you so much for those comments that is the most comments that i got from any video that i put up but anyway, uh, people said that the lines on the map is just pointing at the different towns in Red Dead Redemption 2, which is true. And I've already, um, I've already realized that at first when I saw the view on top of Mount Chan and the map. It's just definitely pointing at the towns. But maybe there's just, you know, in me that I just wanted it to be something more than that. <laughs> maybe it's more mysterious than we think, or maybe there's something else behind it, you know, some other meaning behind it, but maybe, you know, maybe it's just that, you know, it's just pointing at the towns and there's nothing mysterious about it, maybe. Um, but yeah, but about the, uh, about the third UFO, it's fake. Um, there's a lot of pe people who also pointed that out to me, and um, I saw it on Reddit. The guy admitted to it and showed how he did it. And yeah, I was uh, uh, well. Um, <laughs> I'm a naturally gullible person, so I believed it. And at first glance, it was not really like really. Um, done professionally but at first glance it looks legit so you know a lot of people believed it but anyway it's fake so but yeah there's a lot of misery around Mont Chan the drawings and the sundial definitely probably or probably connected to UFOs but who knows let's see maybe some other people will be uh, will be able to investigate it further but yeah anyway thank you for watching and subscribe <laughs>